G'day kids, Briggsy here on the coffee run today. I've got Simon Black. How are you? G'day Briggsy, I'm really well thanks mate, how are you? Excellent mate. Now just a bit of an intro. Um, three time Premiership player, three time All Australian, Norm Smith medalist, you've won obviously BNFs and Brisbane Lions, and the Brownlow. Um, so do you ever sort of think back and go, where did it all go wrong? How could I have been better? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. I sit up at night and, uh, and ponder that one, Briggsy. I mean, like... seriously, that's not exactly a huge accolade, but you know, it's amazing the the achievements that you've done, mate. So well done. Thanks, mate. Yeah, I look. I was. I must say, I, I, look, I was lucky to play on a really good side for for a number of years, and uh, to win some of those individual awards, you've um, you got to play on a really good side, don't you? So, yeah. Um, yeah look, absolutely. yeah. There's no, no question. I was very fortunate to play in that era at the Lions. Yep. Now. I know, obviously, um, we've, I've done a few courses with a few of the kids that you had uh, previously uh, and put them all through the umpire course. Yeah. How do you reckon that benefited them? Um, obviously, one probably from one from an employee's perspective, but also their knowledge of the game. Yeah, absolutely. I think the knowledge of the game and an appreciation of, of just how difficult umpiring can be. Um, walk a mile in my shoes, I guess is the old saying. So, yeah. um, from if they, they play football, um, my academy kids, and so for them to, yeah, we'll go right, um, understand the game and understand just how difficult it is to, um, you know, to, mi to miss things and to get it right. Um, players aren't, aren't right 100% of the time, are they? And, and umpires are going to make yeah. mistakes, whether it's not seeing it, not getting a clear vision of, of, of the incident or, yeah. um, or whatever it is. So, uh, it just gives them a great appreciation of just how great a job umpires do. Yeah, and we've touched on that. I spoke to um, Shannon um, previously as well. Um, about you know our J-Pop program where the kids who play footy uh, learn the umpiring, they go and do club football, and they get a better understanding of the rules. And that's what I always say to those kids as well. It's just um, if you actually learn the rules, you become a better player. So you know when to you know, be defensive if you've given away a free kick, or you know when to attack uh, when you've got the free kick. So what I've seen people in the past is all players they just switched on really quick and they get there really. Um, in position faster. Sure, yeah, oh, that makes sense, yeah. And, and I think understanding the rules and when you have to make them um, yeah. goes a long way for the, the overall education of, as an individual of the game. And the rules, you're just ducking over there on the right. Oh, okay. Coffee time. Coffee time. Now, <laughs> I did have a, another question which was um, have you ever, I know there's been a few incidents where uh, umpires have you know, paid a a throw or something like that. Can you tell me a bit about those particular <laughs> times? You know, yeah. you mentioned to me yesterday. Look, I, I um, I've had two both games against North Melbourne. Um, one at the Eddie had where I, I believed I handballed the ball late in the piece. The game was yeah. really close. Um, I might have been 20, 30 seconds to go when uh, it was one of those off the ground handballs, and I, I, I believed I got my knuckle to the ball. Yeah. Um, but uh, the umpire didn't think so, and he called it a throw. And uh, I was I was really disappointed at the time and. Probably let my emotions get the better of me, but um, and then another time I played we played north of the Gabba, and I actually did a, like a netball pass. I just yeah. Instinctively, just threw the ball rather than clinching my fist, and, and somehow got away with it. So, yeah, yeah. I guess the learning is, you know, sometimes you get it the the um, rub of the green, and sometimes you don't. And it's just the the way the game is. And I've always been a firm believer that umpires are such a a great part of the game. You know, obviously to operate to make the game happen, we need umpires and um, simply, players, players make mistakes, and umpires from time to time make mistakes, but it might be one in a hundred. Yeah, so exactly. Right. Do a and, great job. And from what you say there, um, you know, you, and the angle of where the umpire is as well. You're going to have a player uh, run across your view, or you might not just simply be on the best angle to see the best decision, and there's probably a few cases there what happen. Um, and you talk about the rub of the green, sometimes it does go your way, sometimes it doesn't go your way. Um, speaking to a few quaffle coaches as well, I was down at uh, Mount Gravatt um, with the vultures there, and the coach there was talking about, you know, some days, yeah, they're just it's not going our way, but other days, you know, it does work out that we do get the good decisions. So it does balance out, obviously, in the end as well. So, um, which is great. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And I think umpires really at times get a, uh, an unfair rap. Um, because yeah. of that and, and it's, it's a really good point you made because angles sometimes can't be seen and, and or incidents can't be, be seen on the ground probably particularly at community level footy because there's probably not as many umpires on the ground mm. um, and it's easy to take pot shots 
you know, from the sideline or as a, a player out there. Yeah. But gee whiz, they, they do an amazing job and they, they the, the, the fitness levels required and the, the application to their um, to their job is incredible. Absolutely amazing. So, but great, and a great bunch of blokes. What I've loved, you know, I've loved little things like, you know, the, um, the bit of the, the piss take with OPSM as a sponsor. Yeah, you know, the, yeah. The, the, the glasses company as a sponsor is yeah, great. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a real good, there's a really good rapport amongst the players and, and, the, and the AFL umpires at um, AFL level. So they, um, they do a great job. I guess a lot of people don't realise that they are the third team on the field. Yeah. You know, you've got, um, at an AFL level, nine people out there on the field. So, you know, it's it's half the team, at least. Um, but they don't realise they still do work as a team and work to get the best decisions, the best results, obviously, for the players. They're there for the team. They're there for the, for the game, you know. Uh, so, Hey, look, lastly, what I wanted to, um, to ask you, has anyone ever bailed you up and said, Hey, Briggsy! Thought you and me. Has <laughs> ever ever had that? <laughs> now you say it, Briggsy. No, 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 they haven't. No, seriously. Cause I, the only reason why I say that, I um, my young fella goes uh, Fraser goes to school at St John's College, and uh, his teacher Chris Brown up there, he um, he called me up. He says, "Were you at uni the other day?" And I go, "At the Sunshine Coast Uni." I said, "No." He says, "Oh, I come chase up this bloke." So Briggsy, Briggsy, no, I don't know who you're talking about, mate. He says, "So he actually bailed you up." thought it was me so I was like yeah no brownie you've got the wrong guy but and on the on the flip side actually um uh I was walking out of Budrum State so uh, Budrum Mountain State High School he said, hey Simon I was like no because I, I had the lion shirt on working um for you know game development and I thought oh, it was you so I was like oh g'day boys how you going you know so <laughs> that's great just, just say yeah he passes right, twins just eh? keep on walking I'll, yeah, start, I'll so. start using your name at times Briggsy you eh? may as well <laughs> may as well. Well, well thanks for joining me on the coffee run appreciate it mate with the insights obviously from the top level um and the Brownlow medal obviously like you said before you had a good rapport so we'll, we'll edit this later on um you had a good rapport obviously with the Brownlow with the umpires you know what what were the special things that you did or was it just you know um Congratulations to the umpires. Did you, you know, have a few good words to them at the end? They went, oh, yeah, I might put him in the book for three or something like that. What, what did you do? What do you reckon you had that other people didn't have to, you know, to get a brown lake? I learnt off Jace Nakamanis, for example. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, no, nah, look, I mean, uh, I, I, since a kid, since I was a young nine, ten year old footballer, you sort of learn to respect umpires, yeah. the role they play in the game, and it doesn't take much um, to say good day. You know, pre-game when they come through the rooms and um, post-game, you know, well done or, or whatever it is. So, um, they, like I said, they, they play a super important role in the game, um, and they come from a really good spot as far as trying to make the game function well, um, move well, um, and, and look after players on the ground. So, um, it doesn't take much to be respectful to umpires, and um, that's what it was. That's how I saw it anyway. Yeah. Um, while we're on the for the chat, I know you're keen for a, for a drink, mate. So, um, <laughs> do you, what type of umpire do you reckon makes the, the good one? Just because um, when I was running around doing field, I'd prefer to just you know, let the fifty fifties go, let the game flow. Um, but on the flip side of being criticised for yeah, blow your whistle, when you blow your whistle too often, they're like, oh, just let us play footy. So you sort of damned if you do, damned if you don't. So what what type of umpire do you think uh, is, is the better one? Look, I, I remember um, um, Hayden Kenny at times, um, obviously a great AFL umpire for mm. a long, long time, and he would be saying, boys, I've got that one wrong, I'm sorry. He was really yep. open and honest and, um, yep. and almost vulnerable. And, yep. and when, you're, when you're really open like that, um, you can only be, you can only warm to the person. Yep. Um, so that communication and that honesty and openness is, um, is really, uh, uh, I guess, attractive in some ways. Yeah. So and you get the respect from the players that way too, don't you? You get the respect I mean, they from go, the players. It's quite human, you know. It's it's, right. it's, yep. they, they do make mistakes. So, all right, well, good. All right, well, thanks again, mate. Good on you, Appreciate you. Pleasure, mate. On. Great to have a chat. Let's Talk get a coffee. Right.